the blood work is in finally guys hey everyone my name is jason and i was on enclomiphene for just about two weeks and um and then i stopped it and then i got some blood work in and so this is what the whole video is going to be about my blood work um the whole reason i jumped on enclomiphene was to give my body kind of a restart a nudge in the right direction so that i can produce my own testosterone a little more efficiently and um I, I want to mainly focus on my natural protocol, which uh, um, consists of vitamins, minerals, exercising, and just living a healthier lifestyle so that you don't have to jump on things like enclomiphene and TRT for the rest of your life. So stay tuned for those videos coming up. The blood work. Let's get started. So my total testosterone went, went from 314 in August to now it's 438. But before August, the month before that, my testosterone was at like 405. So, you know, my testosterone didn't really go up that much. It's at 438 now. My DHEA is at 384. That's very important because a lot of people say, oh, you have low testosterone, just go take a DHEA supplement because it aromatizes into testosterone. Well, keep in, keep in mind, it can aromatize into estradiol. So that's why you have to get your blood work done so you're not just throwing darts in the dark my lh went from 4.6 to 3.3 that's very peculiar because your lh and fsh is supposed to go up that's why enclomiphene uh that's what enclomiphene does it stimulates the uh pituitary gland to uh, create more lh and fsh uh, to send those signals to your uh, testicles so that your body can create more testosterone well mine went down that's because I stopped my enclomiphene one week before I went and got blood work done. Um, and there was kind of a, um, th there was a really high uh, increase in LH and FSH is my assumption. And then there was a trough. And so that's what that is, is that trough. Um, and I think that it'll rebound to uh, normal stabilized uh, uh, zones. My prolactin is at 19.8, um, which is... Uh, kind of uh, in the middle, you know, it's okay. It's not bad um, My free testosterone went from 97.6 in July, which is extremely high 97.6 free testosterone would would be a total testosterone of 900 uh, nanograms per deciliter, which is very very high um, so that went from 97.6 to 26.9 that's kind of odd right wouldn't clomiphene increase your uh your free testosterone no and here's why um the science behind that is shb so shb is going to bind to your testosterone and it's going to lock it right and so your shb if it's if it's lower you have more testosterone locked away right and if it's higher then you have more total testosterone floating around. So I have a lot of testosterone that's bioavailable, but my body just isn't using it um, properly because of the SHB being low. So I need to nudge that SHB a little bit higher in order for my total testosterone to go up. Um, and that's basically it, guys. Um, that's that's my blood work and if you want to jump on enclomiphene to give your body a nudge go ahead and do that and see what happens um you have to understand why you have low testosterone in the first place and that's why i'm doing all this that's why i'm creating all these videos to kind of give you guys a reference um to see what works for me what doesn't maybe it'll work for you um and i really want to do this the natural way, which is why I stopped in clomiphene and, and no longer really considering TRT unless I really have to do that because uh, that shuts down your natural production. And I want to be as natural as possible, man. I just want to live a healthy life and um, enjoy doing the things that I love to do, which is working out. I will be creating more of those videos in the future. And I got this... Uh, and clomiphene from Maximus. It's a telehealth clinic online. And uh, maybe I'll put a link in if you guys want to see or uh, maybe uh, use a supplement from them. They have more than just in clomiphene. 
Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Until the next video, peace out.